Okay, so guys, I've I've expressed this many times, and and that is is that when you when you are in um, a transaction with a client, um, we expend so much energy trying to get that contract executed um, that we think that that's it, it's over. We don't have to exert any more effort. But we all know that things pop up with regards to repairs or maybe just the buyer has a change of heart and we have got to navigate through those sometimes treacherous waters um, over and over and over again. Now some deals go very smooth from start to finish but others do not and an expression that I've used over and over and over again is once that contract is executed whether or not you represent the seller or the buyer it is your sole job from that point forward to close the deal. Close the deal. Not at whatever costs. And I clearly want you to remember to color within the lines. Um, and those lines being the mandates that Trek has for us and following the rules. But my gosh, don't make it more difficult. Don't insist. This is not the time to insist on being right. This is not the time to make sure that that other agent on the other side of that transaction um, learns something from your wise counsel. This is not the time. This is the time to talk clients off the ledge, make it really easy to close that deal so that you get to a closing. Not because that's the time that you get paid. It is because that if that deal is executed, then it is a foregone conclusion that you did your job in uniting a willing seller with a willing buyer. And so theoretically, there should not be anything that gets in the way of that deal closing. But we all know that in de between day one and day 30, there's plenty of stuff we have to deal with. Make no mistake about it. Our sole job from execution date to closing date, close the deal.